who is best placed to challenge Manchester City next season? I know the window hasn't opened yet, so you have to look at the squads once the once the window shuts. And yeah, obviously be. that's going to be very important. But but let's I, go around I, I the table. Say, who do you think? I would say Arsenal. Obviously, I'm going to say that, but I'll give you my reasons why. You saw we pushed them more than anybody else did last season. And if you look at the way we're strategically placed as a club, uh, we're on the right tra trajectory. Obviously, signings will be important, which is why I earmarked the signing of Declan Rice, yep. possibly Carcedo as well. Um, and something that I would say on that, I would like us to look at a striker as well. I know a lot of people saying, oh, Balogun. All right. Huh? Balogun. Balogun. Well, keep you know what, ready. I know this is a bit left field, but I, I want us to keep tabs on Ivan Tony, man. I know he's got the eight-month plan. Go and get him in January. That. Yeah, but listen, January might be just the time we need him yeah. to come in. But he won't be fit because he wouldn't have played for, for six mm. months. Or yeah. A big ass. Yeah. yeah, it's a big also, ass. It's a bit left field, like I said, yeah. but hey. Also, I don't know if Brentford would let him go, especially when he's just about to kind of come They have, they have in the past the said that yeah, if we money, are going to sell him, we would be looking at that. X mm. amount of money. Yeah. So that, that mm. indicates that they would be prepared. Money talks, but also it depends where Brentford are Absolutely. by that. Because if they're struggling and they have a season to, of disaster by January and they're struggling to stay in the league, you don't sell Ivan Toner. Mm. I see, I see your point about getting a striker. Yeah, just a lot, like, a lot of Arsenal like fans seem to be overlooking that. Towards the end of the season, we were struggling for goals a little bit. Yes, the likes of Odegaard and so stepped up, but you do need plan well, I think that's you need, certified you need, killer. I think if, ba if Balogun's banging in the goals in France, I would give him a chance because, again, he's the markability as well. He's obviously going to play for the American team. You might, you might have a solution. There. Yeah, I'm not like against that. Obviously, you've got Jesus and you've that. got Trossard, so it's not. You yeah, yeah, have got goals. Got Anelli and Saka be chipping yeah. in, so you've got goals in the team. What? Um, who do you think is <laughs> best place to challenge City? Um, for me, I think it will still be Liverpool. Like I thought. No offense to Arsenal. I just think <laughs> I that am taking it I did. Obviously, Liverpool were disappointing, but again, they found form at the right time. Klopp kind of weathered the storm, made the changes. Obviously, they just signed McAllister. They're going to obviously add some more and strengthen. I don't think we'll see another season like Liverpool have had for a while. And I think that the reason, another reason why they had such a poor season is it does take its toll competing year in, year out with City um, and going toe-to-toe -to -toe like they have done. Um, and I just think it was just an off an off year. Kind of like a year out now. Yeah, get, get a, a year out. Different, to, different to Chelsea's year out. But um, <laughs> this was, I think... Have you had it, a year in? No. <laughs> um, but it's different, different to them, but I just see Liverpool coming back to where they were and with a whole new midfield, new way of style of playing, you know, Trent pushing up into that midfield mm. as well. I think they probably will sign maybe another centre-back um, and see what else they can kind of do and add, add to the midfield and maybe up front. But uh, I think it's going to be Liverpool. Matisse, finish off. Poch won a trophy yesterday. Um, soccer AM. Shocker playing that. <laughs> soccer aid. Yeah, soccer, soccer, sorry. And then, uh, you know, it's just what we do, isn't it, Chelsea? Mm. What are you lot doing then? You lot getting back in the top four? Can you nah, get it together and challenge for the league? No, nah, I'm not challenging. I don't think we'll challenge. I think the window is going to be a tough I one. I reckon he's getting sacked by Christmas. Um, you wish. Uh, <laughs> we'll make sure we make a bet. Do you want to make a bet? Should we make a bet? Poch will to be sacked by Christmas. All right, maybe let me you rephrase so? it. No, no, no. no. <laughs> okay. All right, come on. Talk to me. Poch to be sacked by Christmas. That's what you said. Yeah, Poch to be sacked by Christmas. You want to make a bet? I need a tenner. I'm not like Alex. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> not no 10 grand bets with you. All right, 100. All right, tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> we can do. Yeah. We'll do. Why don't we do two bets? Poch ain't getting sacked by Christmas. Spurs to finish higher than Chelsea. Okay. Oh, jeez. Yeah. First and foremost. Okay, I'm fine with that. And then we can have a side bet. Okay. Of Potch. Potch should be sat before the end of the season. And how much is it going on these bets? 50 quid. All right, cool. So wait, wait. So 50 <laughs> quid for what? That Spurs will finish higher? Spurs finish higher. You haven't seen no transfer windows yet. Nothing. <laughs> you just know that from now, yeah? All right. <laughs> All right, cool. Oh, I've got a question. Do you know how much uh, that hurts me? Yeah. <laughs> like, do you know how much that hurts You're going against Potch, yeah? You're putting yeah. money down on Potch's yeah. head. That's what you just done. Yeah, yeah, well, your I'm, beloved Potch. I've got a question anymore. for you. Uh, just a quick one. Just, we know how much... The Tottenham fans love Potts. So when he rocks up next season for Chelsea, sure, what type of reception? Yeah, game will I think it'll be a mix. I think it'll be mixed. Really? I, I think it really depends how early on. Because if they are your deadly, some people might right. boo him. Yeah. I think they will. Oh, you lot deserve to get relegated. I if think you boo him then, listen, No, they won't. I hope they boo him. <laughs> the, the, then, Chelsea, then so what, man? He's, yeah, gone, straight, he's gone PSG one stuff. They didn't even want him back. I, well, did you boo Fabregas? The fans did. No, but it's different. It's different. If he'd gone to United, wouldn't have booed him. But the fact that there's two clubs, if you're Tottenham, you just don't go to. Oh, and it's Arsenal yeah. and it's Chelsea. Did you boo Bamiyan? 
You're asking me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you man. don't go I to Arsenal. Arsenal. Yeah, I'm asking yeah, you're asking you're asking you're down in 12th, not playing any games, <laughs> almost busting out tears as he's at the Emirates because he misses it so much. There ain't no need to boo him. They're top of the league at that point. Nah, but I, I think if Spurs, I know you can say he shouldn't end up at Chelsea. You don't go has to anything Chelsea. To do. You don't but do But come it. on, man. The guy, I, you guys I didn't agree. want him back. You no. had your best time. He made you relevant. I You've agree. been terrible you're ever since. You're speaking as a they, rational person. I am being We're talking about football. They should be clapping him. They should be clapping him. Fabregas with Arsenal. They didn't want him back. They had Ozil. They didn't. So we got him. Listen, you know I, mean? I think the problem is that because the, fa- because the fans wanted him back and obviously our board didn't exactly, do yeah, yeah, yeah. what yeah, that's we not wanted. On him. It's not on him. And I've, I agree. I've said it many times. I don't blame him for taking another job. What can he do? Sit there and twiddle his thumbs yeah. all the time? No. But obviously it hurts that she's going to Chelsea. I'm not going to boo him personally. It's going to be okay. But shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Wind up. But I think that there will be, I think it will be a mixed, re- I think it'll be a mixed No, bag I agree. I, I think he will get some boost. I think it'll Definitely. be a mixed bag. And I think, think it think? depends yeah. how early yeah. on in the season. I don't think he will. Personal, as, as a I don't think do you think the away end at, at the bridge? Mm. Oh, when you lot start singing hits. Do you, do, oh. yeah, obviously they're doing a Pochettino song and probably going to inherit whatever. Yeah, we got do you think the away end of Spurs would boo him? Probably, but that's fine with me. Like, because what I want out of this experience is for Poch to first of all win a trophy. Right, so oh, he can get rid of that, that. Get rid of that Tottenham right. kind of, you just know, just anything, even a Carabao yeah, Cup. Yeah, just something. you, you yeah, know, yeah. you know when you just need to let the shackles yeah, yeah, off. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's Tottenham. He it's has. Really he, he, he smothered he won it. Liga, right? He won yeah, Liga. but over here in and this the, country, he's got to do it in this country. Oh, right. So he's just got to get that off of him, right? All that nasty mm. little ugh, chicken ball FC, yeah. slimy, yeah. slimy, Spursy, yucky. Get that off him. Win a trophy, and then what I would love nothing more is for him to become a Chelsea. Like a Chelsea man. What, like by winning he's something serious? As Rory, as Rory would say, he's a Chelsea man. He's not a Chelsea man. He's a Chelsea man. man. He's not, he's what would it take for him man. to become that? Like win a Champions win, League, win a, win a, prem. Win a big trophy, win he a Premier League, a win a Champions man. League. He's not And a then man. I want Could Tottenham fans be? to boo him. And I want him to go into this like evil arc where he doesn't like, like Tottenham them anymore. anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and he loves Chelsea us. Listen, I yeah. believe blue. No yes, it will never yes. ever ever happen. Yes, it will never ever happen. And, and you also got to remember it's the rivalry between Spurs and Chelsea, which is not far off. From Arsenal and Spurs. We, we when, hate each other. Exactly. Absolutely hate remember each other. Remember when, uh, what's more. his name was there? The guy from, uh, God, he went abroad. The Turkey, he's at Turkey now. Deli Ali. Deli Ali. Yeah. yeah. Remember yeah. famously a couple of years ago, he was trying to suggest that the rivalry was Spurs and yeah. Chelsea. Mm. But also was, Pochettino said yeah. the same thing. He said he actually. Yeah, but the we rivalry. were getting into scraps. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah we were put yeah. back and, and, and also, so you've got that rivalry and you've got to consider that, let's face it, Spurs and Chelsea they could be competing very closely for, you know, league yeah. places. All I would say is so that... So there's that extra bit of spice yeah, added on top. Obviously, I love Poch. You all know how much I love Poch. But we were in quite a few cup finals under Pochettino and didn't get over the line mm. with that team, this that great team that we line. had. Yeah, so if he gets around with Chelsea, it's like they've got a bit of a history of... Well, I'm just saying, at the end of the day, <laughs> at the end of the day, we did... They've got a whole new squad. Get off, go away. Get off me. Get off me. <laughs> Chelsea, 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 Chelsea. One song. song. Anyway, all I'm going to say is he didn't do anything with us. So, and he had the best team that we'd had in years. So, it's an interesting appointment, though. I've got to say, it is. I'm actually fascinated to see how both do actually, and subplots and and Poch especially because Mm. I I actually do still rate. I rate Pochettino, man. Still, you didn't want him though. Why did you not want him? No, I did. He did. He did. I did. I was one of the Man United fans who got crucified. I don't know why. Because I was I was like half half. I said literally. I was at the time. Not now, I wouldn't, wouldn't change it for the world now, but at the time, mm. I hold my hands up. I was like, I see the both on a kind of parallel. Everyone's just kind yeah. of beating Poch with this stick of the yep. Spurs thing. 100%. Like Spurs do anything. The same thing with Harry Kane when people try and chat rubbish on his name. Like mm-hmm. he plays for Spurs. What can you he do? He manages, what do you expect? Like Spurs don't, don't win anything. So he went to Liga, which nobody leaves there having enhanced their reputation. Yeah. It only goes wrong. Mm. Thomas Tuchel, Unai Emery. Yeah. The same thing. They had to leave there. Then they kind of yeah. get something out of it. So. Yeah. Um, winning there is not enough. You're never going to say well done because you're supposed to win that league. <laughs> and nobody ever wins the Champions League there. And they've had to dismant- dismantle the whole flipping Even Messi Galacticos arguably thing. failed there. there that's what, that's yeah. what I'm saying. They just you done the Harlem Globetrotters. And now Neymar's going to go bloody Saudi. M- Messi's going America. Yeah. Mm. And it's just Mbappe left on his Todd and they're back to square one again. Mm. Going, how do we build this thing? So to say that Poch is dead for that. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I've been arguing the whole no, time. I think, I think the, um, I'll be interested to hear what Abby says. I think the knock on Poch is, is that he's a nearly man, isn't he? He'll play good football. He'll get you to finals, but he can't quite win the, yeah. the big stuff. 
And that that's me saying it from, obviously I wouldn't say it if he was still our manager or if he hadn't taken the Chelsea job, but there were many finals that it's a disgrace that we didn't win anything with that team. And whether or not that is the mentality of the club, which it probably is. is. But at the, it is, but at the same time... <laughs> and I can time, understand your nervousness. Imagine if this, he goes to Chelsea... Right, and win something. And, win and I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised gonna, if he And we're having does. a bit of a struggle at Wembley. We've lost our last five Wembley finals, so... We're, we've become a bit of a nearly team in yeah. cups. Yeah. Other than you're a perfect match. So, but, but, but now <laughs> oh, this is where it all comes that. together that and we win together. And that's yes. beautiful. <laughs>